Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your full body strength workout. We have three blocks of work today, six moves, 40 seconds of effort, 15 seconds of transition, and two rounds. You're gonna see us doing some unilateral movements, which means just one arm, one leg, and a lot of compound moves. So that's gonna keep your heart rate up so that you can burn fat and build muscle at the same time. Equipment today is dumbbells, a mat, and your amazing body. I'll be using anywhere from three all the way up to 20 pound dumbbells. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll your shoulders back and place your booty band just above the knees. You could do this without the band, so totally warm up with or without it. Have a little bend in the knees, brace the core to help you move. And we're gonna warm up not just the whole body here, but focusing on the glutes. Start to squat. So we don't need to rush through the movements here. And as you squat, feel like you're pressing the knees a little outward. Now pulse at the bottom. Three, two, and then rise it up. Two more, and then you're gonna take that right leg and pulse it to the back, straight leg. Pulse back. Give me three, two, then switch. Shift it over and lift. Do it again. Right leg. Squat, then reach. You're down, reach up. Big arms. Keep your eyes on me or on you, right? Two more. Now we're gonna hinge that chest, flat back, hinge here, drop, rise, and then reach again. Hinge forward, and reach. Two more. One more time, and then it's a side leg lift for three. So lean and lift, three, two, one, you can squat, other side. All right, we're gonna come into a plank. So hands go down, still keeping that band on. Step back into your plank. Down dog, hips up. Back into the plank. Down dog, hips up. Stay here. Now we're gonna lift that right leg, then left. Or if you want to, you can stay in plank. This is just kind of a nice place to be, to get some blood to your head, right? Uh. We don't care much for people like them. We don't care much for people like them. Knees are gonna come down, push up, push back, child. Forward, push up. Child, push back. And just kind of flow. Feels good, right? You're gonna hold the plank, tap out, right, left, tap out, right, then back. More, then let's do a shoulder tap. How about that? Hold, shoulder tap. Child pose, push back. Pull forward, up dog, or a little cobra. Do it again, push back. Pull forward, and down dog. Nice. You're gonna see a lot of unilateral in this block. We're gonna be doing a forward lunge. I step forward, curl, step forward again, and curl. You can always take it to the back, right, and just do a back lunge. But we do do a back lunge in the second move, so it is good functionality-wise, just like if you're picking something up off the floor. So again, we're going to do 40 seconds of each move with a 15 second transition for lunch. Tap, release. I'm going to be on the beat of the music here. Forward, 
tap, come back. I've got a 20 pound dumbbell in my hand, just so you know what I got. So when it's heavy, right, we use more core. Chest up, eyes up. Nice compound move here. Keeps the heart rate up. Great job. So I'm gonna stay with this arm, but I'm gonna go for my 12 pound weight. This leg is my working leg. I'm gonna tap back, lunge back, overhead extension. I'm gonna go hand on the hip. And again, unilateral, one arm, one leg. You could always even stay. If you feel that you need to. Fully extend up. Chin up, eyes up. So we're gonna really work the right leg and the left arm here. Getting ready for lateral lunge. I'm gonna use a 10. Lateral lunge, lateral swing, drop, lift. Give me a little angle. I can keep the foot down. You feel your arm, you feel those opposite things working here. Push into your heel, sit back. Right, you can even go toe up on the left leg. Oh yes. You feeling it now? She said, oh yeah. One more. Forward lunge, other leg, other arm, nice job. Woo. Stepping forward, left leg. Shoulders back. I'm gonna start now. Curl, tap in, come back. So heavy, I can do that hammer. You should go heavy. You do get another chance on each side to go heavier, okay? Living in a sequence, trying not to see it. Woo, okay, I'm gonna go back to 12 for that overhead extension. One arm, lunge back, drop, tap. Let's do it. You can always stay, whatever works. Arm right by your ear. Your body wants to cheat and do something like that, right? You're gonna hurt yourself. Maybe you need lighter. All the way up. This would be a great workout too at home. Barefoot. Woo! I'm starting to feel it, how about you? That's first round. Oh, I want the 10, that's what I did last time. I was like, that feels hard. No wonder. Down, swing. Lean, come on. Push into your heel. Back flat. Eyes look out in front. If it's too fast, right? Maybe don't lose and move the leg. Just use your whole body here. Oh. Breather. 
Just 15 seconds, back to the first leg. Turn it up a notch. Yes, you can. Right leg steps. Shoulders back, chest is up. I'm gonna start right now. I know, this was before the timer. Functionality. We need to be able to lunge and squat in day-to-day -day activities. So if you have knee issues, I think we need to do a video about that, right? We'll help you out. Keep it rocking, come on. All right, overhead extension. Oh, my head's going 12. But I'm fighting it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to my head was saying 10. I'm gonna go 12. Right here. I like the movement. So my body wants to cheat. It knows that it's kind of heavy, so it wants to take it away, but keep it where it needs to be. And again, you could isolate the legs. You feel like it's not focusing on the arm. Do what works for you. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna stick with my 12. Lateral lunge. <sighs> and again, really try to push into your heel. Take it out. But you haven't seen all of me yet. Now I'm just beginning your work and A little push hips to me. Don't exaggerate it though. Alright, so when I do that, just a standing. And you know when you got to learn to like me again and again. Cause I'll make you really get low. Push there, there it is. job going back into that curl <sighs> left arm you got this three moves and then I'm gonna give you a nice break <clears throat> you drop rise up maybe you come back in balance like me again and again Cause I will make you Love me again and again Just when you think you Unilateral is great So that we know that we're using each side A little more equally That overhead extension. Who I'm breathing heavy now. How about you at home? Arm is up. Tap back. Both knees bend. And then you rise it up. Woo, yeah. Compound moves. Great for metabolic -y, changing the body, revving that metabolism. Keep it going. And I know everybody else says, drink more water, eat more vegetables. Michelle says, eat more protein, right? Get your arm by your ear. Just fully extend it up. Do it again. Nice job. If you're over 40, right, we need that protein in our body our hormones so we did to the what did we do lateral now <laughs> lateral and reach I got busy talking about protein it's really important 
could be definitely vegetarian and have great sources or vegan. Push away. When you want to change the shape of your body, it's this stuff, strength training, that does it for you. And getting uncomfortable, that's the magic. There's no magic workout. It's intensity. Woo! All right, you guys. You have a breather. We got all those moves in, right? Perfect. Get some water. And I'll show you what's going to come up. More in the back side so we have a bent over row keep it wide all right so pretend that you have a barbell your hands are pushed all the way out to the plates and you're doing bent over rows pull over you're on your back looking at the ceiling with 90 degree angles and then we come to one knee for a kneeling row rotate and press so grab something moderate here we go ladies are you ready Checking on you at home. You guys at home, are you ready to go? You ready? Here we go. Bent over row. I'm gonna go 12. Drop the chest. Row wide. This is not gonna be on the beat of the music. So my hands, they stay in one straight line. Pull the belly up and in, protect your back. If you want more, right, how can you do that more? Drop that back flat, open the feet up. Keep it wide, I can hear them breathing heavy behind me here. Pullovers coming up, I'm gonna keep my 12s. On your back, look at the sky. Start with your elbows in the ground, knuckles up, legs up. I'm taking the dumbbells behind and pulling back down. One leg can go out and then the other. So arms stay at 90 degrees. That way I can use a moderate to heavy load here. Inhale, you're gonna lower it down. Exhale, you're gonna pull back. I think second set, I'm gonna go for my 15s. The third movement is gonna be light. I'm gonna only use three pounds. Coming to kneeling, that means one knee down. I got threes. One knee down. I'm gonna row, rotate, and reach. Row, rotate, one reach. Row. Pull it up, flip it, reach it. See if you can drop your chest just a little bit more on the thigh so we focus on the back side a lot more. Now come up and give me two reaches right here. Two reaches, flip it, release. Again, two. You got one more, come on, two reaches. And release, nice work here. We're gonna do bent over rows. Second round. Woo! Drop it in three, two. Go for the row. That weight comes somewhere between, right, the hips and the ribs. You wanna feel that back a little bit more? Try to get a flat back. Wrist stay straight. Knuckles point down. 
Pull overs coming up. I'm gonna go 15. Woo! Here we go. Start with those arms bent, right? You got 90 degree angles. You're at the bottom. Let's do hips up, bridge. Knuckles up, wrist straight. Bring it on back. And pull. This would be a great one on a bench. You could get a little bit bigger range of motion as you go back. So remember, if you did the first round and you're like, oh, that was kind of easy, I do want you to go that little bit heavier. You can always double up your weights. All right, nice job. Moving on. Don't go too far. I'm going to stand here with my 15s for chest press. You can grab heavier if you need to. Knuckles up. Keep it wide, just like we did the row. Keep it wide. Legs up. Press and scissor the legs up and down. Keep it wide. Try not to bring them inward. That's going to make it harder. Why not make it harder? You hit play. That was the hardest part sometimes, right? Push your back into the mat. You don't have to use the legs. You can just do the chest press with bent knees. Push-ups are coming here. Woo, all right. You ready? Just flip it around. So we're we'll do one push up and then we're gonna reach hand to opposite ankle for a down dog reach here. Push up, reach back. Oh, we got that nice rhythm. Down and then tap. Come to the knees, do a kick if you want to. Sumo fly, I'm gonna do fives. I got fives, what do you have? Sumo squat, right here, reach. You can always do one and then the other. I'm going to rotate my pinkies in. Thumbs back. Oh, yeah. Come on, keep your chest up. Heels in, toes turn out. Well, I'm sweating now. How about you? It's a little humid today. Let's do one. All right, chest press. Go for that heavy. Scissoring the legs. Three moves and a break, you guys. You're doing awesome. Keep it wide. Knuckles up. Drop now. Drop and push. Close your eyes. Think about your why. Why are you doing what you do? And then I want you to have gratitude to your body. Love this body. Don't be in a fight with it all day long. Give it what it needs. Push up, down dog reach. Nice job. Well, I'm starting to feel that. Woo! How are we feeling here, back here? How are you guys feeling at home? 
push up, down dog reach. Knees or toes, down slow, and reach. Sometimes we need to slow to feel more. When we go through life with warp speed, right, we don't see things so clearly. Sumo can work it. How low do you go? Okay, it is a okay to go up butt below the knee as long as your knees do not go over your toes. Pinkies in, push it back. With this one, I feel like I'm fighting gravity. All right. Inhale when you bring it in. Whew, nice job. This is your break. Take a break, take a breather, and we're coming right back. You guys doing okay though? I know you're good. Whew. That's all right. But you never change. What's love got to do with it? He comes around, but I'm not this stuff down. Come a little bit closer. Yeah. All right, we just realized we missed one. We're going to throw it in, though. This is going to be unedited, though, because we got music today. You can see how we really do it. Let's come into kneeling. Let's finish this one movement off, you guys. Ready? 15 seconds. See, sometimes I do, I just get a little bit oh, into what we're doing. Come onto your knee. Ooh, one or two, I say one knee. Row it up, flip it, give me two reaches. Did you at home go, hey, you forgot that one. Huh. We're throwing it in for you. In the back of my mind, there's someone waiting on me. You're just wasting my time. You want more? Again, drop that chest. Reach arms by your ears. Yeah, it's not over. <laughs> We're almost done. Then you're going to grab your glute loop and get yourself ready for his bicep curls and a glute loop. Push back. Nice job here. Ooh. So we got two things to do here. Goes above the knees. Actually below the knees. Let's go below the knees. That's gonna make it harder. Oh Diane, that's gonna be tough. So we're gonna do bicep curls along with a push back, right? Push that leg back. I'm gonna bring it down to mid calf. So it depends on the kind of loop that you have. If you want it up higher or lower. So remember, palms are going to be up, and I'm pressing the leg back as I curl. So we did hammer curls, now we're doing palm up curls. And adding a little squeeze in the butt as you squeeze your biceps. It's double B. Double B is here. Butt and biceps. If you have lighter, hey, you can go heavy or faster. I got 15 here. Keep your feet separated. After this move, we're gonna pull the band up above the knees, come onto one side. No weight. I'm gonna come onto this hip, above the knees, clam. Feet in line with the hips, 
push back. Option, hip up. So I'm back squeeze. Alignment is really important on the clam. Feet in line with shoulders and hips and ears and obviously your head. Again, I could be here. But if you want more core, all right, lift your hip up. Feel the difference? Maybe you do a few up here and then you drop down to your, to your hip. This leg is working leg. This arm is kickbacks. This leg is a donkey kick. Anchor under the bottom knee. Turn down. Opposite, so I'm gonna do five. Bent knee. I extend the arm back. Bring everything in. Push it back. Ready? Look out front. Kick back the donkey. I'm gonna keep my knee bent at about a 90 degree angle. You can do what feels good to you. You can do straight leg kick back. You don't use the band. Look out in front, hey, push that hand into the ground and look and lift up. Well, we got that beat, beat, don't, you got the beat at home? That always feels good. We are up. Same thing, let's do some bicep curls. Alternate pressing it back, so lower the band down. I'm gonna go for my 15s again. Palms are up. Let's go. Push it back. Who's got that beat? Start to feel your backside a little bit more now. A booty band. Hey, that's a great at-home tool. Inexpensive. He bought, bought dumbbells. Hey, I know you can afford those booty bands. Oh, oh that's all I can do. Client ham, other side. Ooh, I got my heart right up. Are we ready? Feet in line with your hips. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. Four, five, six, like they say I can't be fixed. One, Are you in alignment? Three, your attention's or are you getting all sloppy on me? Because your body knows how to cheat and make it easy, right? This would be me, lazy easy. This is you now, right? You're working it. Even if it hurts a bit. We got donkey kick coming up next. So the back arm here, this arm is kicking back. This front is doing that pushback donkey. Anchor the band under the knee. Ooh. And we're doing that kick back with a press bent knee. I'm just gonna turn so you can see where my arm is. I stop at the hip. I don't swing it to my shoulder. Why? Because I want to focus on the tricep. Stop hip, press back. There we go. Low belly pulls up and in. All right, I'm gonna go five pounds in each hand. Booty band above the knee, standing up here. Lateral raise and left side leg lift. Woo! We got two lifts. And switch legs. Lateral. Everything's going out away from the body. Keep that width right there. So it doesn't slide down. Keep it up. Ooh, nice job. One more. 
squat pulses. We're gonna drop down, two, lift. Down, two, kick. Booty band my slide. Lift, drop, two, down, two, push. Arm throw it down. There's no wrong here. There is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, just get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Show me I won. Alright, we got a V up crunch, no weight. On your back. Woo, man stays still above the knees. So here's my option. I can tuck in, reach out, or just go for crunches. So tuck in, reach out. When I'm reaching out, my legs are gonna spread a little bit and then pull the feet inward. Feet come in, feet go out. Jen's got you covered for a crunch. And then we're gonna go back into that side raise. Legs and arms. Nice job. This is it, last three moves, you guys. You got this. We got you covered here. Above the knees. Shoulders roll back. Oh, we're not on the beat, but that's okay. If it's too easy in the arms, longer arms. Elbows. And you're pouring a pitcher of water because you're going to need that after this workout. All right, squat pulse. I'm going to be right at my knees here so it doesn't slide too much. Down, two, kick. Three pulses. Three, two, one. There it is. Could be out, in, out, kick, out. Oh, we are so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where's your booty band? Is it on your waist now? <laughs> nice. Well, keep it on though. I was gonna slide it off. There's a song. Here we go, tux. Or crunch. Get a bit crunch and press it out. Bring it up. I wanna be on the beat. your own. You could do something different, right? Come on, you got this. 15 seconds. You can't bring me down. Reach your legs in your arms, lengthen out your torso. You did awesome. <laughs> so do you feel the difference in your body versus just doing a cardio workout, a strength workout? Fires up something a little deeper in your body, take the band off the legs. Yeah. 
Nice job here. Hug the knees into the chest. I would never do what you expect. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Let's flip it into four on plank here. I just want to have us do a plank. Does that sound good? Planking is so good for us, right? It's gonna zip up the waist. Whenever you're ready to, elbows, knees, I have my knees lifted, hold. Shoulders relaxed. Pull the belly up and in, a little tightness in your glutes. Maybe a slight tuck of the tailbone. We're gonna do a little run. One, two, three, knee drop. So it's right, left, right. One, two, hold. Lightly tapping or not to the crown. Keep it up. You just check your phone, right? Hold it right there. Walk up to the hands. Come on up to the hands. Come down to the elbows. Do it again. Hand walk. Nobody should be texting me. Everybody should be here. Oh, maybe it's Catherine. <laughs> She's like, I'm late. Hold it. That's her. Right knee, right elbow. Switch. <sighs> Exhale as you pull the knee in. I want to hear your breath. I don't hear your breath back here. <laughs> Four, three, two, niece child. Nice job. That's officially it. Great job today. Stepping right foot forward into lunge. You did amazing. Reach out the left arm up. Now try some stretch. Pat your back. Pull your elbow back. And then hands go down. Straighten out that leg. Moving lunge. Releasing your hips. Hold. Reach up. Look to the back side. Twist it. That hand that's in the sky is gonna go down to the ground. You're gonna do a half moon. Open up, lift the back leg off the ground. Hold. Step back, reverse warrior. So bend the front knee, back leg is angled. Stretch up and back. You can wrap the warrior. Look up. Triangle. Reach out, come on down, open up. Straddle, turn front. Let's turn the other direction, lunge. Knee goes down. No, it wasn't Catherine. Oh, give yourself a tricep stretch. Hands go down, moving low lunge, lift the back knee, shoulders down, hands inside the leg. Hold, rotate to the back, give yourself a nice spinal twist here. Ring out your waist, drop your hips. Half moon, hand this up, goes down. Try to lift out of the floor. Even lighten your hand a little bit on the ground. Reverse warrior, step it back, spin up and back with those arms. Stick in your front knee. Straighten it out, triangle. Oh, that felt good. Didn't that feel good? We need like a whole Pio session there. If you enjoy that stuff, check out Pio. All right, we are gonna come into that forward fold. Ooh. 
step it in. Roll it up. Fix anything. Bat it up. Heart. Pull it down. Behind the head, over the chest. Tee it out. One more time. Gratitude is that attitude that I want you to have. Pull it into your heart. Touch your skin. You need to. You need to touch that heart. And you guys have an awesome day. Nice job to you. Yay to these ladies behind me. I know you guys keep commenting how much you enjoy having them on the driveway. So do I. They really bring a, bring a lot of great joy and happiness to this group. And you can too. You can be a part of this group. So what we got coming up now is YouTube membership. You can be a part of an exclusive community and get special workouts. Join us live. And you guys get to help create the content. How awesome is that? All for the price of a gallon of gas. <sighs> or a cup of coffee, whatever you enjoy the most, right? But you guys, make sure you look at the comments below. All right, comment below, thumb it up, and check out the description box for some of that information. You have an awesome day, and we will see you back on that mat. Thank you, ladies, for coming here. And again, thank you, guys. Woo! Take care.